another park english health education may what is not there nowadays lkg child also is not listening to dad ye karo bole to wo kar rahe karo kar rahe where will people listen huh? so motivation participation reinforcement are all the components now ho gaya 100 the first century in the cricket first innings is over kitna kitna 50 50 doctor 21 50 50 three 75 25 type uh, that also include it so four are 75 25 type 20 are 50 50 type ha uh, one is 80 20 including that three 20 are 50 50 type 21 so 24 mistakes first 100 mein ho gaya to bhi you can still sit in parliament you will win the no confidence motion so be very sure right so let us continue the discussion uh you want to take a backup of the video or or is it okay okay no problem <clears throat> after a long time uh, with only one hour sleep in the past 24 hours because in the md general medicine days in nims hospital it is like 36 hours of uh, running around still we are celebrating thanks goes to you because uh, uh, you made the whole uh, task of uh, unveiling this ski more a funful act and sportive act that's most important doctor ultimately so one not one what is your answer ha huh? i heard g e r d very vocally anybody else g r d g r d mein h pylori no doctor h pylori bole to g r d hai new delhi bole to india hai if you confuse for uh, adenocarcinoma i thought it as proximal stomach oh ho oh, it is distal stomach means uh, agreed Huh? So one not one, Raj. Are you have sympathizers online? Fahima answered it as B. Swati answered it as B. Lata answered it as B. Where one of the cause of autoimmune gastritis, doctor? I'll tell you. I'll tell you. adi you got it na huh? type a type b our uh, professor of surgery is telling no see there are two kinds of atrophic gastritis doc type b type b um which is basically caused by helicobacter pylori type a is also called autoimmune chronic atrophic gastritis which is unrelated to h pylori examiner picked up that point huh? so narrowly but the elimination level me eliminate kar sakte no regrets don't no problem we'll keep it in the lifeline kaun banega pg pati so one lifeline you can do mistake no h pylori is a risk factor for uh, this question is already over no right non pancreatic gastrostomas are commonly located in duodenum 100% very good 50 to 70% duodenum gastrostoma triangle these are all the favorite questions of the examiner which is the best dinmart to start methotrexate is one answer i am listening any other answer anybody thought leflunamide no sympathizer Question number one or three. What our online students are saying? Let us see. Very good. Ah, Raj correctly said. At least for your aim sentence, no. Remember, Raj is giving a good mnemonic. A for autoimmune, B for bacteria. Right? Ah, that's how classmates will help her to remember few things and. Uh, uh, Lata says C, Pahima everybody is saying B. Mitotrexate, simple logic. 
It is a very safe drug, easy to administer, first line. If it fails, then you think of uh, any other demand. Then, uh, what is the most common cause for the red cell protoporphyrin to increase? Iron deficiency, no big challenge. Then, huh, this is a traditional question. I had been waiting, when will this question come? Pericarditis hoga, effusion hoga, magar tamponade nahi hoga. Wait. Uh, this is, uh, uh, medicine questions are really good. They know that uh, the teacher is from general medicine, they can get kitna padaya. Huh? So, uh, yeah, what is your answer? Pericarditis hoga, effusion hoga, magar tamponade nahi hoga. Classical, right from pathology days we had been studying. Okay, what is your answer? Come on. Rheumatoid after, then why are you not saying? Why are you waiting to not say? That's right. Typically, rheumatoid arthritis affects pericardium. Chronic asymptomatic effusion is very common with this pericarditis. Tamponade is only a rare complication. Right? Then, uh, holiday heart syndrome, our cheapest question. What is your answer? Huh? Recently, we were discussing uh, general medicine from uh, 4th onwards, March onwards. High yield topics, doctor, 125 high yield topics may say 30 questions aega. You must know common atrial fibrillation, holiday heart syndrome. Any other answer, anybody? No? Should. No, no? Ah, good. Otherwise, I am failing in my job. Then, uh, what is the essential component of the multi-drug regime? Huh, we are going to have fight on this. We are getting one answer, rifampicin, vancomycin, huh? gentamicin, aurek bolo, khatam ho jayega. Huh? Shani is gone. So, fourth, anybody? So, you are all fighting between vanco, genta, rifam. Nobody thought it as pleuro. Good, at least you are all good students. 107, when 107 invites so much, uh, Raj says B, Pranit says B, Tara says B, Pahima says B. Our consultant team is all saying B. Yes. So, what is the final answer? As a teacher, I have no other job than to reveal, right? I propose rifampin, but not sure. I myself is 50-50 about this answer. Why? If you go through the literature, when there is a prosthetic valve endocarditis, vancomycin and gentamicin may be used for treatment in spite of the risk of renal insufficiency. First rule. Then, rifampin is necessary because rifampin is capable of penetrating into the biofilms of most of the pathogens which infect the prosthetic valves. But it should be administered with vancomycin and gentamicin, not standalone. Abhi bata, what is there in examiner's mind? Sab kuch use kar sakte. Put in controversy question number two. Madam, one more thing you didn't include is controversy question ek chod diya na. What was that question? Uh, color blindness and uh, calamon. That was a controversy. Huh? This question, I don't know what is there in examiner's mind. So, I think Vanco versus Rifampicin, we have to see what the final key will be. Huh? All right. Autonomic neuropathy manifests with all these features except what? Huh? Sudden death? Any other answer? You might have thought uh, something, all of you thought sudden death. Enhydrosis, I know, that is the most common second alternative thought. Any other answer? How many thought enhydrosis? One, two, three. Oh. 
So, doctor, question number 108, our online students also are differing between anhydrosis versus sudden death. Autonomic neuropathy does not lead to sudden death, doctor. But what is this anhydrosis? Chala, wo dek lenge. Pseudomotor dysfunction. Pseudomotor dysfunction, not pseudo, pseudo. Is a common feature of autonomic neuropathy where there will be anhydrosis of extremities with hyperhidrosis of the trunk. Hands become dry, trunk become wet. Is typical, huh? Pseudomotor dysfunction is what you have to basically remember, which is a part of the autonomic uh, neuropathy. 